Patrick with the Kentucky Gun Company. Typically when you think about magazine fed firearms, you're thinking about rifles, you know, stuff that eats the, the center fire rifle shells. You typically don't think about shot shells or shot guns that are magazine fed. But 2018 is shaping up to be the year of the magazine fed shotgun. It's not to say that they haven't been done before. There has been other magazine fed shotguns, but we have some major manufacturers, major US manufacturers that are now starting to design firearms and ship their firearms that are magazine capable, magazine fed. And this is one of them. This is the brand new Mossberg 590M. All right, number one notable feature you guys have noticed on this is obviously the magazine. 10 round mag, shipped with a 10 round mag. We're gonna go into a little bit more details on that here in a second. 18 and a half inch barrel. It's a bead front sight, swing swivel in the front. This is the 590, so it has all the features that you expect with the, uh, the beefed up Mossberg actions and shotguns, dual extractors, twin action bars. This is an Ambi magazine release, and that is a steel button. Also, speaking of Ambi, Mossberg 500s are known for their tang safety, so you have the safety on top, good for right hand or left hand shooters. They are drilled and tapped, so if you decide you want to put a red dot on there, that's no problem. Standard synthetic stock, of course, another uh, sling, swing mount, sling mount here on the butt stock. Let's talk about this magazine a little bit more. This is definitely a beefy mag. It's two and three quarter shells only, steel feed lips. You know, like I said, it's, it's a little wide, but Mossberg figured if you're already gonna have a mag extending out of the receiver, why not go ahead and double it up, make double the capacity, make it just a little bit wider. And again, I know there's some of you guys that say you'll never, never want this mag, never need this mag, and we understand, we know you guys are two feed fans. But here's something to consider. Mossberg Shockwave, it's got five plus one capacity. And I go ahead and tell you, this is in the works, this is guaranteed it's coming out. Now with something of this size, imagine that Shockwave with a 10 or 20 or 15 round mag. That's a pretty, pretty awesome combination on such a small compact size. You can disassemble this mag. It's pretty simple. It's like most other mags you guys are somewhat familiar with. Butt plates or mag plate slides off and comes apart just like that. They say this is a music wire spring, a little higher quality spring than most magazines, but easy to clean, easy to disassemble. But I want to show you one more thing on this mag. is how intuitive it is to load. So Mossberg has these lugs cut in the receiver that match up with the, uh, the magazine. Gives a lot more support, makes it a nice and stable mag. It has a tad bit of wiggle, but nothing more than what you would expect out of any other shotgun fed or magazine fed shotguns. But what I want you to do, and I want you to think about this, when you go into the store and you compare this with the other models out there, something I really noticed if you, if you just think about it for a minute, one good test is can you put this magazine in your shotgun if, in the middle of the night or say if you had your eyes closed? And I've tested it, I've thought about it, and I've tried all the other manufacturers out there. They're, you have to be really, really extremely proficient and try really hard. But with the eyes closed, you can lock your magazine in there just like that and you can do it over and over. Might take a little bit of fumbling, but I've done it twice there. That is something that I really like about this Mossberg setup. If you, again, if you compare this with some of the other manufacturers out there, I don't think you'll be able to insert that magazine with your eyes closed over and over. And that was like, that was the third time I've tried it. I tried it once off camera and I just did it twice on camera there just to make sure I could do it. And um, again, try that when you go. If you're gonna compare this with another magazine fed shotgun, I think you'll see that this is much more intuitive. It's much more easier to load. It's much more natural. This thing just cams in just like the AK-47 mags. You guys are familiar with that. It is pretty much a drop-free mag. You know, it, it's drop-free as you could be in a this style of a shotgun or this style of a magazine. Again, it's, it cams forward, so it's not going to drop free like a, a Glock mag or a pistol mag, but if you had to, you could. The other magazines I've noticed on the market, a lot of them you have to actually strip them. They do not come out. So note when you're going to shop for one of these. Okay, we've showed you the features of the shotgun. Let's go shoot a little bit. Let's see what uh, 10 rounds downrange through a magazine fed Mossberg 590 looks like. Okay, today we're going to shoot some federal estate buckshot. It's a double out buck, nine pellets in it, two and three quarters. Again, this is a two and three quarter only gun. This is a cylinder bore, fixed cylinder bore. We're going to put one round downrange, 10 yards. We have a basic human silhouette. We just want you to see what the pattern looks like at 10 yards. And this is the uh, first shots out of this gun that we've had. You know, we did a little video at uh, uh, SHOT Show 
but we really didn't get to shoot more than two or three rounds through this. So this will be our first uh, true shoot with this particular firearm. All right. And double up buck, 10 yards. You know, 10 yards is usually more than any distance most people have in their houses. You know, if you're shooting in a hallway, shooting across a room, it's a decent little pattern for 10 yards. That's where the wad went through, so it's a little bit bigger hoe. But uh, not overspring. Cylinder board does a really good job. All right, let's put it back at 10. We have nine more shells in it. Let's see how this magazine fed 590M, how it feeds. Mm -mm. Sucker's kind of rough. Magazine's not feeding. All right, slight failure to feed. Again, we don't test fire these guns before we shoot a video. We want you to see exactly what we're seeing. So we either have one or two problems. That shell is not feeding all the way up. It looks like the lip of the shell is catching on the inside lip of the magazine. So it's either one or two things. Shell's too long or the magazine is uh, manufactured into correctly or incorrectly and uh, too short. But little suckers are, they're really supposed to come up here on top of these feed lips and sit like that. So let's strip this sucker, sucker out. Let's see, see if we grab somebody else's double out buck and, and those little suckers are just getting stuck. They're not, not feeding. as they're supposed to. All right, give us a second. We're going to try, if we have a full, uh, fully stocked gun store, it's the cool thing about our videos. So we're just going to run to the shelf and see if we grab somebody else's shot shells and see if there's a difference. Hopefully it's the shot shell, not the mag. All right, we figured out what the problem is. So we grabbed a box of a Hornady Super Superformance double out buck and some Winchester's number six. But check this out. Look at the length difference. And this is advertised as two and three quarter. That's a two and three quarter. I don't know if this is a, something special that the, this is a, a state buckshot. Comes in commercial load. Advertised as two and three quarter. Two, this is a commercial box. It's not a military, not a military box, military grade or anything. And here's the Winchester. Again, those that's advertised as two and three quarter also. So you see the size difference. We're going to, uh, let's just put the Federal away for the time being. Let's try the Hornady. Get this Winchester out of the way. Pretty easy magazine to load. Not binding, nothing more uh, than you would expect from a normal magazine of this size. All right, let's try this again. 590, 10 rounds, Hornady double up buck. We've already sent one round down range with the Federal. We wanted to show you what the pattern looked like. Fed quite a bit better that time. Ten rounds downrange. If you want to know how to make our range officer, and if you haven't met Jerry, Jerry's our range officer. If you want to know uh, one of the one of his biggest pet peeves, come in here and shoot a shotgun and make a mess on the floor. He loves that. He hates cleaning those things up. But we allow shotguns in our uh, in our range. So 
we want you to come shoot it. There you go. That's what's left over after 11 shots of double walk buck. I'm gonna do another another 10 rounds. We're gonna throw another 10 rounds of the Hornady downrange. We just I want you guys to feel more comfortable with the magazine fed 590. I want to feel more comfortable with it. I want to make sure this thing is supposed to feed like it does. All right, 10 more rounds. Let's grab 10 more rounds. You know, I know there's going to be some naysayers out there. Why would you need a 10 round or 20 round magazine fed shotgun? But who has ever said my shotgun or my rifle for that fact has too many rounds or too big of a magazine? No, this might not be the shotgun for you. You might not like magazine fed shotguns. You might want a tube shotgun with a little bit less capacity. But there are going to be some guys out there. This is going to be the ticket. A, the magazine gives you a quick magazine reloads. If I had multiple magazines, we'd be able to go through multiple you know, reloads and multiple downrange scenarios. But all I have is one magazine. That's all they sent us. All right, 10 yards again. 10 more rounds. Mossberg 590M. No problem feeding whatsoever. I think that first, obviously the first feed uh, malfunction, the first jam was, the magazine jam was due to the uh, extra length in the uh, shells there. So again, we don't, uh, if it doesn't feed, if it doesn't function, and we do a video on it, you guys get to see it. You know, we're not gonna hide it. Uh, yeah, we work with our industry partners, but we uh, still want you, our customers, our consumers, our clients to feel comfortable with what we're telling you. When we tell you this thing feeds, it better feed. Um, and it does. Just a little over length in the shotgun shells on the first batch of the Federals, but Federal makes really good quality shells. I'm sure there's a, a reason for that. We'll figure it out here, maybe let you know in the comments below. All right, so as you see, the brand new 590 functioned pretty decent once we found the right shells for it, a, a proper length shell. These are just now starting to ship, so uh, we don't have them in stock yet, but they are coming. And they will be available on, their, on our uh, range journal fleet. So uh, we have to unfortunately turn this one back in but we'll have some where you can come in and test them out, shoot them. And I highly suggest, I really want you to try, when you go in to compare these, and there are the manufacturers that are coming out with some magazine-fed uh, shotguns, go in there and just see how easy it is to load those magazines. This is the most intuitive magazine, easiest to load magazine. You can do it with your eyes closed. You can do it in the middle of the night. I don't know if you could say that about some of the other manufacturers out there. I would just highly suggest you just try it. And just go into the gun shop, put both of them in your hands, try to load them and see how easy they drop out too. You know, this is, again, it's not truly a drop-free mag because it has that little lip, but if you just fling your shotgun, you can drop it out and throw you another mag in there if you want it. As always, we appreciate you guys watching it. Let us know what you think about this shotgun. Let us know what you think about the, you know, the, I guess the shotgun revolution or the magazine-fed shotgun revolution of 2018. Again, we know this is not the first time they've put magazine-fed shotguns on the market, but now you're seeing much more, you know, it's almost like the British are coming. Well, now the magazine-fed shotguns are coming. And we want to know what you think. We want to know if you would buy one. We want to know why you wouldn't buy one if you wouldn't buy one. Leave us some comments. Uh, be polite. Be courteous. We want to know. And as always, give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we, it really helps us out. And we greatly appreciate it. As always, you're going to be able to find this Mossberg and all the other Mossbergs on our website at kygunco.com.